Once the time comes to implement your knowledge of EDMX and set up some real-life fixtures for your lighting display, you will first need to understand the process of DMX patching inside your EDMX generator, as well as the configuration of your EDMX protocol itself. Patching in the context of DMX lighting refers to the process of assigning specific addresses to individual lighting fixtures or devices in a control system. When you patch a DMX system, you are essentially telling the EDMX generator which channels correspond to which fixtures. This mapping allows the generator to send the correct signals to each fixture. Regardless of the choice between ArtNet or SACN, you still need to patch these fixtures. Neither protocol offers an advantage in this space. However, there are differences to both when considering the configuration of your EDMX protocol within your EDMX generator. If you decide to transmit your EDMX universes via Unicast, which both ArtNet and SACN support, your EDMX generator must be configured with one or more IP addresses to send each universe to. The ArtNet protocol supports automatic device discovery. If your DMX generator supports that feature, it may be able to discover the relevant IP addresses automatically, which would reduce your configuration time and remove manual data entry. On the other hand, SACN does not support automatic device discovery directly, so if you wish to unicast your SACN, you will need to manually enter the IP address mapping for your universes. If you decide to transmit your EDMX universes via multicast with SACN, this simplifies configuration of your EDMX generator. This is because it will automatically calculate the multicast address for each universe. Each of these topics has a separate video, and we recommend you view all nine videos related to this topic. Regardless of whether you decide to use ArtNet or SACN, it's imperative that connections remain stable over time. Over the life of a lighting display, will your lighting device IP address be permanently fixed? If you use DHCP, an automatic way to assign IP addresses, then the IP address of each device may change. If this address is changed and you are transmitting via unicast, communication is likely to be broken. If an ArtNet device changes IP address, it's possible that your EDMX generator could rediscover it, but there may be downtime or it may not automatically rediscover it at all. For this reason, lighting installations will typically be set up to use static IP addresses if they are unicasting, regardless of whether you use SACN or ArtNet. This requires extra configuration effort for all lighting devices. On the other hand, multicasting through SACN will continue to work even if a device's IP address is changed, like being changed by a DHCP server. The lighting devices will seamlessly continue to receive the multicast traffic without needing any reconfiguration or discovery. This means that SACN multicast is the simplest choice from the perspective of configuring your EDMX generator and EDMX lighting devices more generally. But it's important to be aware of the complexities in network design and configuration. There's more detail on the Advertech Lighting website, and please check out all of our related videos on this topic, especially our video covering IGMP snooping. You'll find the link in the video description below.